Hello, welcome students. I'm Pawn. Welcome to all in my channel, Chemistry and History of Molecules. <coughs> so today we are going to learn about an important topic. It is cyclobutadiene. The actually we are going to discuss about the anti-aromaticity, unstabilization, how to stabilize this molecule, uh, and uh, Huckel's rule about this degeneracy reduction, steric and electronic protection since it's unstable, and some reaction where you can find some electrolytic static ring expansion to have some stable molecules so this is the main thing we will discuss on this topic and next topic we will discuss about the charge cyclobutadiene derivative so let's start so as you can think that this is a cyclobutadiene so according to huckel rule if you think this what huckel rule says huckel rule says that cyclic Planar conjugated and 4n plus 2 number of pi electron for aromatic system and 4n number of 4n pi electron for anti aromatic system. So, see here cyclic planar conjugated and here 2 2 means. 4 pi electron means this is anti aromatic this is anti aromatic and this makes such type of molecule interesting for study what is does this mean anti aromatic means unstable as i i have already discussed this factor in the first video of this series that is uh huckel soon okay and after that i have discussed about the cyclobutadiene ion derivative cy uh, sorry cyclopropidium cation so you have, I guess you have understood. If you haven't read that, please go through that video. So this is unstable. So unstable means unstable compared to its corresponding acyclic one means one three butadiene. Okay. So this is unstable. Now question: How to stabilize it? And what is the reason of its unstability? Let's first discuss about the reason of unstability. The reason is if you see the first frost diagram. So this is the first diagram. Okay. So this is the first diagram. If you see this. This is the circle and this is alpha, the energy of this p orbital and this is the two, actually it's a four molecular orbital. Here this is the BMO, bonding molecular orbital, this is ABMO, antibonding molecular orbital and these are two non-bonding electrons. So cyclobutadiene has four pi electrons, so let's fill it. Two electron here, one electron here, one electron, since they are degenerate and same energy, so this now question, according to this cyclobutadiene should be diradical. Okay, so according to this it should be diradical because two unpaired electrons are given, but actually it is not. So point number one, it is not diradical. Second, if it is completely conjugated system, then it is having the unstability. Okay, as I told. So it can undergo something to reduce its unstability. Okay, so point number two, reduction of unstability. So these two factors, cyclobutadiene does in reality. First of all, it is not diuretical, and that thing should be proved that it has done something to reduce the unstability and come slowly, slowly. So we have learned about the Huckel rules and the basic concept. Now let's come to the degeneracy point of view. Actually, this cyclobutadiene is considered as smallest anion having this scapular structure means it can come here and it can come here so what the product is from this is so if you see <coughs> in this way this is stable and actually this degeneracy this degeneracy is the reason of this unstability so this degeneracy should, should be in how actually this is by fixation of the double bond fixation of cc double bond how this could be a yeah, simple thing if it is unconjugated okay so in this way this uh, degeneracy could be waived okay so fixation of cc double bond and how this could be done keep this thing in mind any unstable system could be stabilized by two ways okay one is steric protection Please keep this concept in mind, it will be helpful in future. Second is 
electronic protection electronic protection this steric protection or sometimes called bulky effect or bulky group introduction and this is electronic interaction i will explain everything as it is thing so first this thing now question as we told everything can we isolate cyclobutadiene ion yes isolation possible means isolation is difficult but it could be detected better to say detected at very low temperature that is less than 35 k okay so if i say this thing then our confusion come that if i say that it could be it could be isolated at very low temperature very low temperature then how this could be detected actually first of all you can detect by using spectroscopy second you can isolate or trap the cyclobutadiene ion in situ from the reaction medium such that you can say this is happening okay so actually what happens if you can prepare cyclobutadiene ion by something else also for example this then it undergo facile dimerization why i am writing this you will understand within some time this what happened it undergo diels alder reaction so this is diels alder reaction or you can say four plus 2 cycloaddition whatever you say so what it produces see we know diels alder that this diene attaches this part it comes here and this comes now you may think sir this is a degenerate system how this is happening how you can say that double bonds are here and actually it is not degenerate i will explain so what happens this produces a diene this now as you can see that previously cyclobutadiene was a extremely unstable molecule now it prepared form this dimer because it is relatively stable so what happened in next this dimer actually is a strain because you can see three four member rings are fused together and another thing two alkene sp to 120 degree angle is expected but this is less so what happened it undergo electrocyclic expansion what i told i will give you an other example also how this comes in this direction this comes in this so what it produces as i told every time that always try to write everything as it is this this and now what happened this this now i suggest you draw it in a different way means see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now draw eight member follow this drawing drawing is important this so here also you can say sir previously it was according to hukel rule four by electron anti aromatic here eight by electron n equal to 2 that is also anti aromatic so how a reaction can an unstable product can produce another unstable actually this is not the thing cyclobutadiene is a stable molecule at room temperature why because it is not it is not conjugated according to hukel rule cyclic planar conjugated this is not planar and this is not conjugated actually what it look it looks boat like okay so this is and these are the double bond see one double bond is almost perpendicular to another one that is the reason that they are acting as a isolate double bond you can consider this is a tetra in instead of a conjugated tetra unconjugated so that is the reason for stability so in this way the parent cyclobutadiene molecule could be stabilized okay so other trapping example i will come later slowly so okay fine so now let's continue the this degeneracy reduction part so first of all so you have learned that what cyclobutadiene does it undergo dimerization now as i told that in order to uh, in order to get stabilization of cyclobutadiene it undergo degeneracy reduction how first let's discuss about the point 1 that is the steric protection what is this so <clears throat> steric protection means introduction of a bulky group what do i really mean so this is cyclobutadiene so bulky group means you can consider this is as a tertiary butane so what it does because of this bulky group it will not undergo dimerization first point second another thing you can do you can put one the similar thing like it's a eight member uh ring i guess
No, sorry, it's a seven member. So this is sulfur. This is a seven member. What it does? This these are the two. So overall you can see this is a tertiary carbon, this is also a tertiary carbon, this is open chain, chain, this is a closed chain. Fine. And what it does? This is stable because of this protection. And actually what I told, so you may think another way also. If you think about this molecule, this deuterium derivative. So another canonical form we can expect what? That is this. So actually what happened? These double bonds are not delocalized, confined. So what we can get? Actually, these two, these are two different molecules, not same. Because if you consider with benzene, we know that all CC bonds are same distance. But in case of cyclobutadiene, the distance is not same. And <coughs> you can see that distance values are, this distance values are, you can see, this one point, this bond, this CC bond, this is single bond, 1.5 to 6 angstrom, and this CC double bond, 1.44, means, what we know, that CC single bond is greater than CC double bond, that is exactly happening in this case. What does it prove? This is proof that this bond are confined. And this is an experimental because this is an X-ray diffraction data. Okay, this is not I'm posing. This is the data. Similar thing is observed in case of this cyclobutadiene, where you can see it's 1.6 angstrom, whereas this is 1.34 angstrom. And what happens? So we understood that this is not a degenerate system. So degeneracy is lifted and what it became? It became a rectangular molecule. It became a rectangular molecule. Okay. So if it is a rectangular molecule, so the false diagram could be redrawn and how? So this is the energy. So this is the alpha and let's draw a circle, this point, this is alpha plus 2 beta and this is alpha minus 2 beta, fine. And what happened as it is a rectangular not square, so this thing is not applicable. So what happened, one here, not there, so keep, this is the intersection point, this is low and one point is higher. So, the rules of drawing force diagram is that you have to insert the polygon inside the circle having the bottom point will touch, it is fixed, the bottom point will touch here and the rest of thing will arrange accordingly. So, this is now what you can see here. That the degeneracy is not observed. What does do I mean? These alpha minus 2 beta, they are 2 electron. Fine. Yes. But what we have previously delocalized these 2 electron here, actually they are not di radical what so this is lower energy so expected that the two electron will come here so this is this supports this indirectly proves the experimental fact what i told at the beginning that this is not a di radical this is not a di radical this is not degenerate and this thing you can see this is an anti bonding orbital this is very slightly bonding so in this way you can explain the relatively unstability. I am not saying stable. Never say the word stable. Because this molecule is not stable. Previously it was extremely unstable. Right now little less unstable. That is the thing. So in this way this is stabilized. Second thing. So this is what you have uh, read. This is about the steric protection. Now as I told the second one is electronic protection. How that electronic protection occurs? So electronic protection means you have to put molecule which withdraw or push electron. Okay. So for example, you can think that this molecule. So this is a cyclobutadiene having substitution like this is NH2, this is NH2, this is COOH. This is COOH. Sorry, this is not H. This is ET. 
this is COET, this is COOET, this is an ester molecule. So we know that this is an electron withdrawing group. This is electron donating using this group. And how to remember this? Very thing we see, they are anti to each other. In this way, you can remember this molecule. Both are anti to each other. So actually they can't affect directly. It means this can donate. If it donates, it will not be profitable for this. Or if this withdraw, that's not. But what can happen? That this NH2 can donate in this way. And this could be withdrawn. Let me draw the canonical formula and So let's fix one part. Now you can see this is a double bond O minus OET. And here this is NH2 having a plus charge. Now see previously what was the reason for the unstability of this cyclobutadiene that is reduced. And similar thing is applicable for this group also. Means it will donate, it will, it will withdraw. So in this way, this molecule is stabilized. And this phenomena is known as captodative effect. Or you can say push-pull effect. What do I mean? See, captodative means donation and withdrawal. Or you can say one is pushing, another is pulling, CO2 is, this ester group is pulling, and only NH2 is pushing. So this is also called push-pull effect. Fine. So this is the way that cyclobutadiene molecule could be stabilized. So, we have been described about the basic reaction, unstability, basic, sorry, basic concept, aromat anti aromaticity and unstability. And one important information we have learned that this is a very unstable molecule. So we, it is prone to do something which will result is a result in the reduction of unstability. Okay. So now we will discuss some example which will give you some better understanding about this molecule. Okay. See this two examples. So what is the purpose to give you example? To give you the idea about electrocyclic ring expansion of cyclobutadiene. Previously, I have shown the parent cyclobutadiene which undergo dimerization and ultimately result in cyclo octatetra in derivative. Okay, caught. So now this is the another two example. I suggest you please keep these examples. Just read once because in a exam like what I am giving this a reaction reagent this and this ultimately written one aromatic derivative four option. So then it is difficult for you to predict. If you know it, it is. For example, in the second example, this is a cycloocta di sorry cycloocta tetraene. I made mistake. Tetraene. Okay. So this derivative. What is the product? So in this learn this will be helpful. So let's start. See, this is can means ceric ammonium nitrate. Ceric ammonium uh, means cerium four ammonium nitrate okay so okay so i think it is better not to write it this way it should, it should be written this is cerium 4 nitrate 6 and ammonium must be this is this is the cation two cation and overall is a six anion okay uh, sorry two minus this is two plus serian is a plus two oxidation state okay so what happened is an act as an oxidant what it resulted this derivative resulted this cyclobutadiene this CBD as intermediate as I told it is not unstable so it reacts and it are, it is it can do the disorder reaction and that for that reason see this molecule dimethyl acetylene dicarboxylate is given what it does it acts as a dienophile it as a diene it acts as a dienophile so better to write this in this way this this plus this this so what it does it reacts and what it result means it gives here, it comes here, it. 
so as i shown in case of parent cyclic butadiene so it result in this molecule so one double bond should be here fine and here there is a triple bond so one double bond fine and this is co2 ab okay so actually this is a dewar benzene derivative dewar benzene i'll ex explain so what happens it undergo electrocyclic ring expansion and what it ultimately results see how it it comes here and it comes so if i write i should write this in this way as everything as i told always try to fix the ring size first and this this 1 2 3 4 5 6 see a six carbon conjugated means if you draw it a little different way this looks like this so dimethyl actually methyl dimethyl tetrate so tetraethylic acid derivative so this and see this is an advantage so this could be given in the question what is product is easy but this even another question would be asked what is the structure of intermediate even these 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 means maybe in mount in situ one of the option is this one so in this way question could be could be uh, given to you okay so this is the uh, discussion about the first problem now let's discuss about the second problem second problem is also a similar type of thing and question could be given as as i told similar way now what happens at this temperature this is an acid ring same side so what happens Actually, you may think, sir, why this molecule will come closer? This CC bond can rotate, and this actually it is true. The yield of the final product is very very low. But still, since we are reading this reaction, we will focus how this reaction actually happened. So, what happens? Two plus two, this. So, what it result? Two plus two cyclic addition. This result this. Fine. Now, this is the cyclic addition derivative. What happens? We know that it are it is capable. to under butyl salt reaction so it can act as a diene or dienophile because the parent example one molecule of cyclobutadiene acted as a diene and another dienophile so what this double bond will react, react with this because see this is another diene so what is the product the product is this is so everything is same in this part Okay, now this part will be changed. So see, it is a four plus two cyclic addition. Four plus two. So a six member ring will form. Let's draw the six member ring. This. So these will attack here. No, I made mistake. You may think in this way. These attacks here. This bond come here, and these attacks here. Okay, fine. So what it does? This and another thing. See. These two thing, these two points, attached to cyclic butadiene. So previously there was two phenyl here and here. Fine. Now this carbon attached to this carbon having phenyl. So let's draw phenyl, phenyl. And another interesting part is that it was an another two thing. So this a double bond means this double bond here is having phenyl, phenyl. And this is a CO group. Which I should draw like it's hanging. This, this. See the double bond. Okay. So what happens ultimately after means see there are multiple arrows are given. So means multiple steps. So in next step what happens that this molecule this is strain molecule. So what it does it undergo elimination of carbon monoxide. Okay. So what it does so if this carbon monoxide is eliminated what is this it will come here okay if it comes see four bonds are there it will come here and this will go up understood i will tell again see first this bond means elect this bond electron is coming and forming a double bond consequently this bond opens and gives here and forms another double bond and this bond opens carb co get electron so step is that minus of carbon monoxide so draw everything as it is first second we will draw the final structure this is 
this. So draw everything as it is. This let's draw whatever is unaffected. This is the pH, this is the pH, this is the pH here, this is the pH here. Now what are the new double bond forms? So this is one bond form, here one bond form. And previously there was one another double bond, no problem. Now see this. So if actually it's an H member ring. Now let's redraw it. So this is let's draw an H member ring. It is this, and here it is attached to two benzene. Fine. So this double bond is there. You can see there is one double. All are adjacent one another. So this, 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 this. Another should be here. This. See cyclo octa tetra in derivative. Okay. So in this is the final structure. So in MCQ, this option will be given in us. What is the final product? So if you know, you can do it easily. Okay. So let's discuss some other examples. Okay. So let's discuss the last part. So some properties related to this cyclobutadiene is anti-aromaticity. We are going to discuss here. Okay. So see, this is a keto. We know in terms of acid or base, means whatever you say, acid or base. We know this totalization and happens. So here this tautomerization does not happen. Means the corresponding enol, this is the hydrogen, so it will go and produce enol. I have written this, it should be this. So this does not happen. Why? Because cyclic octa cyclobutadiene is anti-aromatic. That's why this reaction doesn't happen. Second, if you see this molecule, this molecule prefer to remain in keto form than corresponding enol form. Why? Because this cyclobutadiene. Okay. What is the purpose to give you this? Learn that it is reluctant for enol formation. Compared to that, if you compare this thing with this, this is the keto of phenol. What it undergo? It undergo instantly means to phenol. What information this provide? This provide that phenol remains in 100% enol form. Why? Because it is stable due to anti aromaticity See, in contrast, in a different way, cyclobutadiene, these ketones remain. These ketones, these remains in keto form because corresponding enol is anti aromatic And what message is given by this statement? That if you have material molecule will try to attain aromatic stabilization and try to avoid anti aromatic unstabilization. Anyhow, they can do. So, this is the example of that situation. Okay, fine. Now, let the next examples all are Bill's order related. So, Bill's order reaction, we know it's a 4 plus 2 addition reaction. So, here, see, two dienes are given. Okay. Difference is that no double bond here, but there is one double bond. This is the difference. So, what happens? This reacts. Reaction. But this is no reaction. Alex, what it produces after reaction? If you react with this malic anhydride, so this, sorry, this is double bond, no double bond. So what it does? So it attacks here, comes, it goes. So ultimately, resulted. Huh? This is a cyclobutadiene cyclobutane ring this is double bond this and it's a 4 plus 2 4 plus 2 cyclo addition so a 6 member ring is formed because 2 and here 4 carbon so this with this 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 reaction happens and produces this product but this in case of this no reaction let me discuss let me discuss if if this reaction was happened right, what was the point? If this reaction happened, right, then the double bond expected that it will attack here. That double bond came here and it will go back here. So what is the expected product? The expected product is previously there was double bond with diphenyl 5. 
Now there should be an another double bond because this bond came here and expected product is this along with this only can be treated. Fine, but this doesn't happen. Okay, because of this, this reaction does not happen. So this increases molecule, they are smart enough that they don't want anti-hermetic unstabilization. So based on this phenomena, they choose the path whether they will react or not. Okay, so this message is given by these two examples. Now let's discuss about this. So in presence of see, this is a digamo derivative anti. So what happens in presence of that? This one two digamo in presence of zinc means produces alkene. Means this part if you forget there is alkene, so this is the alkene, and actually since there is a double also cyclobutene. What is the message? That it is a transient species producing the reaction medium for that reaction. Okay. So if you put some other reagent like this here, what happens? The di so it will act as a dienophile. So it's a four plus two cyclic. So all are disordered reaction. So what it reacted? I have given already one example discussed. So I am not going to explain more. This it will result. It will prepare this six member ring having double bond here because. This will attack here. It will come here. It will. This is double bond. This and along with that one CH two. This is the CH two bridge. Fine. This. How happened? See, this is a quinone. It acts as a dienophile. So then it acts as a diene. So what it results? So if you think this is the cyclobutyl diene. Sorry, I should not write in this way. I should write this in this way. So it will attack. It will go. This will attack. So what it results? This is another double bond is intact. It is. This is. This is also four plus two. But here four electron. Here two is there. Reverse is here. Okay. And here this is also four plus two. But this example I have given the example of dead. Sorry, uh, dimethyl acetyl dicarboxylate. So similar thing happens. And what it resulted? Actually, this is also a four plus two cyclic addition in solder. This, this. Oh, sorry, it's an alkene, not alkyl. Previously, that was alkyl. So this with CO two Me, fine. So this is the final product. Okay. So this is the overall discussion about the cyclobutadiene derivative. Now one thing. If you see cyclobutadiene molecule, it contains four pi electrons. So if we put two electron, so what it? It's a six pi electron aromatic. If you withdraw two electron, it's a two pi electron that is also aromatic. So logically, it is expected to possible because aromatic is stable compared to anti-aromatic system. Actually, this happens, and we will discuss this thing in the next video. Okay. So this is the end of this discussion. So what we have learned today, we have learned the unstability of this cyclobutadiene derivative, Frost diagram, degeneracy, how this, why this cyclobutadiene not perfectly square, it's a rectangular, how it not di radical. Okay, and second is reactivity, its protection, steric protection and electronic protection means the stabilization of cyclobutadiene through steric effect. And using electronic effect, like cathodic effect, push pull effect. Finally, some Diels order reaction, and another thing: how cyclobutadiene rearranges and through electrocyclic expansion, it undergo uh, higher analog and finally the same. Okay, for I forgot one thing to explain about the Dewar benzene. So this Dewar benzene is like this. This is the benzene with a peculiar structure. This comes here. This comes here. This. So it produces this thing. This is the peculiar. Instead of that, this can do another chemical form. What? That is, this bond can. It can come here and it can come here. So what it will produce? If I draw everything as it is, this and this. So if I draw this, L, so this looks like this. So this is the divergence. Divar. Benzene. So this is the that's why I told it's a dual benzene. I'll discuss in details about some other things. So thank you everyone for listening. If you like my teaching, please help me to grow my channel. 
chemistry and history of molecule how you can do first of all you can do in three ways first of all please share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited from my effort second please subscribe my channel chemistry and history of molecule and press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video i upload thirdly please like the video and make some good comment your make some good comments or it's it's really good and if it's not write your opinion how to improve it as it will be helpful for me to improve my channel and most importantly actually if you really want me to upload this many videos for you on a regular basis i ex i expect this support from you otherwise sometimes it's very disappointing if i don't have um, adequate viewers so if you think this video is not helpful for you please mention in the comment box then i will not uh, upload many videos in future so okay thank you again so all the best see you in my next video